All right, let's give it up for Nicky Romero. Who's Woo! On All right. Thank you for coming in. Thank you very much. And it's just before your set as well in Tomorrowland. Yes. How are you feeling about that? I'm good. I'm, I'm really happy that uh, I got the chance to play again two times uh, first week with Smash the House with Demi and Mike. Uh, and Jay Belvin is performing before me, so that's really refreshing. I said wow. such a different sound, so I'm definitely going to check out what he's, uh, how he's performing. Yeah. I'm a big fan of his sound. It's, quite, it's, it's that sort of, a lot of DJs are mixing in a lot of R&B hip-hop yeah. stuff, aren't they? What is that going to be the future, do you reckon, or is it just um, sounding I, good? I think it works well at certain places, you know. There's places where they're really waiting for a mixture between the more dancey stuff and the yeah. more hip-hop, reggaeton. A little bit uh, of bachata Latin. in there. Yeah, yeah, there's a little bit of everything in there. Yeah. Uh, and there's also places where people just really want to hear EDM, yeah. big room, maybe progressive house, dance. Mm. So yeah, it depends on where you play. I've noticed that a lot of fans here in particular go a bit mental when they start hearing hip-hop mixed in. Yeah. So yeah, that should be good. And you started off years ago you used to collect glasses and yeah oh you watched the was that, series was that a hobby or oh, <laughs> what was you watched the series <laughs> this is actually a really good sign you saw you, you saw the redefine video yeah i did actually um th there is much more that i had to do that i will save you <laughs> but i did the very lowest things in the beginning to actually was get that some. a scoop Yes, it's good. Yeah, it's yeah good. we do our research. We're not playing yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. Me and Jade are awesome. Jade, let's yeah, give yeah, ourselves yeah, yeah. a round of applause for you this interview. You guys are great. You yeah. guys are great. It was actually, it's a short for Scooby-Doo, but that was a little lame, so they called it Scoop. <laughs> ah. uh, it was a bar dancing in Alice. It only holds like 150 people. Um, but yeah, that was a, my only go-to place because it was close to my house, and they... Um, that's where I started playing my first records, really. Mm. Speaking about where, uh, where you're from, can you tell us about Momo? Momo? M-O-M-O. -O. Where is Momo? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't know what it's Momo food. is. Going on. I know Momo is a restaurant in yeah. Amsterdam. <laughs> Tell us about Momo. It's. I heard it was your favorite place to eat in Amsterdam. But Momo is one of the best places to yeah. eat. Yeah, no, it's true. But Momo is the, the fun. I'll tell you the story about Momo. I was like, wait, are they still talking about Scoop and Momo? Is that connected? But <laughs> Momo, the restaurant in Amsterdam, is always the go-to place with Amsterdam dance event, ADE. So I'm always staying in a hotel, and that hotel is straight connected to Momo. So what do we do? We have our breakfast, we have our lunch, and our dinner at that place for a week. And so it's, it's like amazing, second right? Home. It's really one of the best restaurants I believe in. Uh, ha! Everybody looked at me like I was crazy for asking that. I told you there was something there. There um, was, there was, but the, the, there's not a lot of people that know. So now I gave away my little secret. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Let's check it out. Uh, you re redefined yourself as a DJ, and now you're super successful. Congratulations! But what about for those people who maybe want to take that risk, want to, you know, live their dream? What sort of advice would you give to them if they're unsure? Well, uh, what I try to get a, to get across in my in my video of redefine is that um, everybody starts somewhere. So even, you know, to be a TV host, a radio host, it's not like you start at Tomorrowland, your first episode, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You, gain, you gain through your experience, and you get chances, you create chances through what you do. So I always give people the advice to really start somewhere, make sure that you stay dedicated to that what you want to achieve, and yes, there's going to be ups and downs. But, you know, if it was that easy, then everyone, then everyone would be mm -hmm. main stage artists yeah. at Tomorrowland. And everybody would be hosting here at Tomorrowland, you know, on different kind of radio stations, and, you know, and TV stations. So it's not that easy because otherwise everyone would do it. Yeah. So you got to stick with something that you like, Ooh. work for it and appreciate all the ups and take the downs because they're... They're always going to be there. Mm -hmm. I got one more, and then we'll let you go focus on your DJ right. set. Uh, your dad was a radio DJ. Is that true? Yes. Oh, my God. How do you know that? <laughs> I'm not playing around, so man. Uh, oh. so your dad was a radio DJ, and that's kind of how you got into things. <laughs> D are there any songs that he used to play for you when you would go to work with him that you could see yourself working with or remixing? Or have you already uh -huh. done that? The fun, the fun fact is my dad was a police officer, but only a few know that his, you know, his side job was radio DJ. And that was his biggest passion back then. He took me there and it's called Heuvelrug FM, which was a very small local radio station. And there was always like an extra radio booth where I used to play songs. And it was only a single deck. So I just played a song called Cotton Eye Joe the whole day. <laughs> I oh, love wow. Cotton Eye Joe. It's where like did you Cotton come from? Joe. Where did you go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, we I have to hear before we die a Nicky Romero Cotton Eye Joe. That is the yeah. challenge to you. Wait, I don't know about that though, but we <laughs> <laughs> maybe just.
just privately for yourself and don't release it I mean, it to I'll play it for you in the studio. I'll make a video and say, like, listen, you know, we played it and it's still there, you know. <laughs> Deal. Right. It's true. It's true. Nicky Romero, thank you so much for coming in. Round of applause. Thank we'll you let you go. Good luck today.